Today's cardinal lesson is talking about those of you who are self-insured for long-term care. And it, my feeling about self-insurance for long-term care is it's by default, not by design. And what I mean by that, and what I put in my book when we're discussing this, is there is a way to put together a plan for self-insurance where you're going to put aside the money, uh, it's going to be over there and appropriated so that when you, and if you do need care, that there's funds there that you can easily draw on to pay for the care. I mean, that's a plan by design for self-insurance. And many people who say they're self-insured, even if they're just saying it to themselves, it's really by default. Is They're just in this category of the 90% of America that could qualify for a plan and should buy a plan. They don't have one and not the 10% who, who actually have a plan for long-term care. So 90% of people are uninsured or they're self-insured, essentially. So I want to talk about that a little bit, and I want to help you and show you an example of how you could get your self-insurance by design. So this is just one of many solutions that we offer here at Cardinal for long-term care. And this is about as simple as it gets, is if you took $100,000 of your money and earmarked it for long-term care, that could be home health care, that could be nursing home care, that could be assisted living, it could be a lot of things, and you, you would earmark that and put it over there and call it, this is my long-term care savings account. Okay. You can do that with this product. You just simply deposit it at an insurance company. It's not gone in insurance premiums. It's there, and you could go draw it out. But the intent is to put it there and leave it there for the rest of your life. Now, why would you do that? Well, first and foremost, you're going to get a little bit of interest on that money. Um, so, you know, that, that would be one reason. But you're getting interest now on your money. So you would be doing that because this $100,000, if you needed long-term care, would be turned into $300,000 of insurance. It's almost miraculously. I mean, you've got hundred grand that you've deposited, and then if you need long-term care, the insurance company is going to pay out up to three hundred grand in benefits. You say, well, how do they do that? Well, they simply use the interest that you earn, that they owe you, to pay for an insurance policy that's all mixed into the same one of providing an extra $200,000 of insurance. So, for all, just for the purposes of explaining this, the 100000 is going to sit there as long as you're alive. You, you know, for the purposes of this, we're going to just say you're going to earn no interest or all your interest is going to go to pay for the premium for this triple factor or to turn 100000 into 300000 But what you're going to get for that is, you know, $300,000 of benefits. So if you're a couple that does this, you can cover two people. You're going to have access to $3,333 a month for up to 90 months of care, for home care, nursing home care, assisted living. And you could even both be using this at once. So they'd be paying out $6,600. Now, the first 100000 is just your own money. They're just paying you back what you deposited with them. So the insurance company is a little bit protected in this. But just the fact that you have that over there and it's secure, um, it works well. A single person can buy this, and they're going to get more, and that 300000 is going to be paid out over a shorter period of time. So this works either way. And it also, you don't need to stay stuck on $100,000 because... If this thing um, is not, if this is not enough, as you're just saying, well, four thousand a month or three thousand a month is not enough, and conceivably it's not. Um, you could just put more money in buying it. So there really isn't much of an upper limit on this. You can put substantial money in here, but this is a nice round number that people would have in retirement savings. It's really earmarked for this anyhow. So. Now, this product has very easy health questions. 
I mean, if you've got dementia now or you've got Parkinson's now, you're not eligible for this. Okay, so there are some people, but we actually have other products that you are eligible for. So on this solution, you know, when you've got a very serious that's condition that's going to cause you probably to need some care, and that's already a foregone conclusion, the insurance company is not going to offer you this arrangement. But if you had cancer a few years ago and you're in remission, you can get this. If you, had, if you have diabetes and it's fairly well under control, you can get this. I mean, there's several conditions and you don't have to take a physical. So it's pretty simple what we call underwriting. Now, if you deposit this money and you never need it or you just need a little bit of it during your lifetime, then this money is going to just pass on to your kids or your spouse or whoever you've left down as a beneficiary. So it's not like you're just giving the money away or you're paying the money in premiums. This is just one form of hybrid long-term care insurance. Yeah, I just want to talk to your 85-year-old self for a minute and just think about it. I do a lot of this in my practice where I'm uh, meeting with people's parents, typically, or I'm meeting with the adult children of a very elderly client we have an attorney that practices with us, and we also have a CPA that practices with us. And so a lot of times we're in there right at the point of care where somebody has lived a long life and now they're just had a stroke and we're kind of in crisis and we're sitting down figuring out what we're going to do. And some of these people have some very substantial money and we're in figuring out how we're going to pay for care. And getting someone in that situation or a couple in that situation when they're 85, 90 years old, they're in poor health, they're needing care to let loose of their own money to pay for care and to pay for home health care is a very difficult thing to do. And it's just because they have long-term care by default. I mean, they, have, they know they got the money and they know they're going to have to spend it and pay for care, but actually getting them to do that is very difficult and very unnerving. Um, whereas if there's a plan and a plan by design, this becomes much easier. So I'm Hans Scheil and I thank you for listening.